North Korean War, U.S. cities fear wipeout as officials admit nuclear shelters do not work. U.S. officials have admitted the thousands of public fallout shelters meant to protect citizens from nuclear devastation do not work amid fear of a strike from North Korea. The U.S. government has confirmed that there is no way to protect the all citizens from a nuclear blast and urged people to run into the nearest building in the event of an attack. The lack of secure protection follows an admission from New York City officials that the fallout shelter sign posted on nearly every street have been inactive for decades. Officials have not built new bomb shelters since the Cold War, despite concern that U.S. tensions with North Korea may spill over into all-out nuclear war. The Cold War era shelters across New York City no longer work, but thousands remain signposted around the city. According to locals interviewed for a report en route, all residents pointed to these shelters when asked for their plan in case of a strike from Kim Jong-un's regime. Federal officials have recently announced plans to remove these signs due to their misleading nature but have not designated any up-to-date shelters to replace them. They claimed that the sign removal was to ensure there was no confusion in the event of an actual attack. Late last year, the North Korean leadership claimed that their rockets were now powerful enough to hit Washington, D.C. and New York City. Elliot Calhoun, Nike Emergency Management, said, Most folks, when they think about a nuclear blast, they think about where they need to go. The first things they see are those shelter signs sprinkled around the city, but those have been inactive for decades. Best sheltering advice is to go into a nearby building and either go towards its center or the basement. Richard 